Hey everyone, it's Kara here from Boho Berry and I'm back with another one month in my digital planner video. Today is May 2nd and oops, I am rotated. There we go. Uh, today's May 2nd, so I'm back here on my weekly spread. And as you can see, I did mark a few things off that I completed yesterday. And I also added my events that are happening this weekend while I'm in New York City. So I'm gonna zoom in here just to show you my day for Tuesday. Um, I kind of <laughs> got through my email with the digital planner launch. My email inbox was flooded, flooded with questions. So <laughs> I made progress, but then I got way more email on top of that. So I need to get back into my email today. So that's why it's only half marked off. And in fact, I'm just gonna turn that into an arrow. So I'm gonna write it back on today. But otherwise I got everything done, very successful day. So I'm happy about that. I'm gonna come in and do a little bit of journaling. So I'm gonna to go to my light blue color here with kind of the thicker line and I have my shape tool on so I can draw a perfectly straight line. There we go. And we'll go back to my pen and a little bit of journaling. All right, so we've got some journaling done and now it is time to set up for today, Wednesday. So first thing I'm gonna do is add in my weather and it looks like it's gonna be sunny again today. So I'm just gonna copy this sunshine from right here and then paste that right there. And it's gonna be a high of 86 and a low of 61. I'm so excited about this warm weather. You'll have no idea. Oops, I'm not on my pen tool, there we go. Oh, I'm so excited about this day. <laughs> All right, so it is Wednesday. I don't have a lot of appointments going on. I am gonna highlight my time bar. I'm kind of glad actually that I don't have any appointments or events today because I, um, I have a lot to do. I launched the digital planners yesterday, but I did not launch my digital stickers. So that's what I'm working on for the rest of this week, or at least today and tomorrow before I leave for New York. So yeah, this gives me a good amount of time to make sure that I get all of that done uh, before I leave Friday morning. So I am gonna highlight pink for work, and that's gonna be pretty much my whole day right there. And it's time to add some tasks for today. So I'm gonna go back to my pen tool, and I'm gonna say, All right, so that's gonna be my list today. Pretty short and sweet, but these are long, <laughs> long items when you really break them down. So I'm gonna be working on my digital stickers. I need to get back in my email inbox, and then I need to help Kristen with our Etsy combos. Uh, we've had a lot, a lot of questions uh, regarding the digital planner on Etsy. So I'm gonna help her in there with that. I think we have something like 63 messages uh, when I woke up this morning. So that's gonna take up a big chunk of the day. And then also I've been filming some short little uh, tutorial videos that I've been sharing in our Boho Berry Digital Planners Facebook group. But I also wanna add those to Vimeo or some other source. I might even do a folder for them here on YouTube, but I just wanna get those added in somewhere besides Facebook because I know not everyone is on Facebook. So that's my plan for today. Uh, no extra progress on projects. I am gonna go to May and show you what I've done on here. I did add in some appointments and events like Mother's Day on Sunday. I created a fun little sticker there for that. I also have my sister's birthday is on the 28th. So I created a little sticker there for that as well. And then um, some regular posts that I know are coming up. My plan with me on the last Friday of the month and my Boho Berry Challenge um, will be out on the 22nd for June. So these are all stickers that I created in Procreate and I just wanted to show you a little tutorial of how I created this sticker right here for my sister's birthday. So I'm actually gonna go into Procreate and let's see if I can find, yes, here it is. All right, so this is what I created 
for my sister's birthday on the calendar. So I'm actually going to, uh, let's just group all this together. That way I can turn it off and I'm gonna show you how I did that. All right, so I'm gonna go to my brushes and I actually created, but I created a stamp of my cupcake. So it's this one right here, a little cupcake doodle. And I'm gonna go to my black and just stamp that there. And then I'm gonna use my selection tool and just move it to where I want it on the page. So I'm gonna put it right about there. And now I am going to go up here and I'm gonna create a new layer. And this is the layer that I'm gonna start coloring in the image. So I'm actually gonna tap on my cupcake layer and I'm gonna hit reference. And what this does is when I go to fill in on this new layer, it's only gonna fill in based on the black lines that are existing here. So I'll show you what I mean. I'm gonna grab the light blue and I'm gonna zoom way in here so hopefully you can really see what I'm doing. And now I have the cupcake layer as a reference. I'm on a brand new layer and I'm just gonna drag and drop, oops. And I'm just gonna drag and drop this color to where I want it. And there we go. And you'll see, if you look in the layers panel, hopefully you can see that. We have the cupcake and then if I turn the cupcake off, we just have that blue colored in right there. All right, so now I am going to find whatever other color I wanna use. I'm gonna use like a deeper shade of that blue, more of a turquoisey color. And I'm gonna drag it into these little areas. Oops, <laughs> might need to zoom in a little more because these are teeny tiny. All right, so that part is colored in and you'll notice if I zoom way in, it looks a little funky, like it's cutting off parts of this line and making it a little jagged, but I'm gonna show you how we're gonna fix that here in a minute. All right, so I've got that color in Next, I'm gonna go with the pink for the heart and a little deeper shade of that. And I'm gonna go with orange for my sprinkles. All right, and it looks like I missed a little spot with my blue, so I'm actually gonna go to my color select here and grab that same color and fill it in right there. Okay, and now I'm gonna do my light green there and yellow for these little pearls. All right, so I have that colored in and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this layer, see if I turn off the cupcake layer, you can see I just have the colored in and actually that's kind of cute too. It adds, oops, it adds kind of a different feel to it. But I think Ah, I'm still on that cupcake brush. So every time I single tap, it's trying to stamp a new cupcake. All right, um, but I'm gonna add that black layer back in. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna move this coloring layer behind or underneath the black layer. And now it's all crisp and clean again. All right, so now I wanna grab, I think I'm gonna grab that same turquoise-ish color from there. And I'm gonna grab that same brush that I used for my May header. It's the sign paint brush right here. And I'm just gonna write out, actually, you know what? I really want a grid behind this so I can keep my lettering kind of sort of straight. So I'm gonna add a new layer. I'm gonna put it underneath my cupcake and my coloring layers. And I'm actually gonna go to my brushes. And I have a brush that is just a grid brush and I, I can't remember if this one came with Procreate or not, but there are a few um, free grid brushes that you can get out there. But I'm just gonna go, actually I'm gonna go with a really light gray. And I'm just gonna give myself a grid in the background. All right, so now I have a little something to go off of. So I'm gonna come back up here. I'm gonna create a new layer for my handwriting. You really don't need um, your handwriting to be on a separate layer, but I find 
that if I want to move it around or do anything else with it after I've written, it's a lot easier if it's on its own layer. So I always just do it just in case. All right, so I'm going to go back to the sign paint brush and let's check our size. That looks pretty good. Might go a little bit larger. All right, so now I've written in Laura's birthday there. And what I can do is I can turn off that grid layer and now I have a white background image, or I can also completely turn off the background layer and now I have a completely transparent image. So now I'm just gonna save this transparent image as a PNG to my camera roll. And then I can come back in to Good Notes, open up my photos, right here and then in my camera roll you can see I actually have two of these and I can drag this in to my planner and then I can resize make it smaller make it larger rotate it put it wherever I want it all right so I'm going to delete this one because I already have the other one um, but that's just how I went about creating that little sticker and I thought you guys might like to see that so uh, the other big sticker that I added was this Mother's Day wreath and I actually created this wreath in Procreate as well, but I was following a tutorial from Tila, uh, Tila Cunningham at Every Tuesday. Let's see if I can figure out where I put it. It's somewhere. Mm, I think it's in this deck. Yes, okay. So I actually created this wreath following a tutorial from Tila Cunningham over at Every Tuesday. And then I just added in my Mother's Day uh, to the center of that. And then same process, just turn off the background layer, save it to your photos, and you're good to go. Um, I highly recommend, by the way, Tila's channel if you're wanting to learn some fun like graphic design type stuff, and then she does some iPad videos, watercolor videos, all kinds of great stuff. Um, but I learned this wreath technique from her, and I just, I love it so much. And I'll put her link down below for you for sure. Okay, back to planning. <laughs> I just wanted to show you those stickers in case y'all were curious. All right, so I need to fill in my habit tracker. Uh, just for this morning, I wanna put that I woke up by six so that I don't forget that. I was actually up at 5.30 today. All right, and then yesterday, I didn't get around to um, writing my Peloton or strength training, but I did everything else. So I was pretty, <laughs> pretty happy with that. All right, next I wanna to go to my gratitude log and just fill that in for yesterday. So I'm gonna to go to, I think I'm gonna use a gray pen. Let's see how that looks. All right. Oh, I wish I could rotate. I always wanna rotate, especially after I've been in Procreate where I can rotate the canvas around. Okay, let's see how big is this. That's good. All right, so gratitude for yesterday and do I want to number these I don't know <laughs> I don't know what I want to do okay I think I'm just going to write all right there we go so one thing that I will say about good notes, it drives me crazy that their pen tool does not have a streamline function. And what I mean by that is when I write um, in here, you'll see no matter how straight or smooth I'm writing, lines can get a little bit wobbly with your handwriting. And I try not to let that bother me uh, too much. And sometimes I'll even go and write in my uh, Procreate app like I did in April. I actually wrote out my gratitude things. I wrote these all out in Procreate and then dropped them in as images so they're a little bit smoother and prettier. But this month I just don't feel like, uh, I don't feel like bothering with all that. So we're just going for it with the wobbly. I mean, it's not terrible. It's not terrible, but it drives me a little nuts. <laughs> all, right. all right, and mood mandala. Uh, for yesterday, I think I'm going to say, ooh, I think I'm gonna say excited. I was gonna say productive, which I was, but I think it's more excited than anything. So I'm gonna go with my bright teal color for excited. And what's cool about this is this 
mandala template has perfect circles and this shape tool creates perfect circles. So I'm going to grab my shape tool and you'll see this come in much more handy later on, but ooh, that's really big. And there we go. So now we have this perfect circle for my first day and I'll show you to see. I think I have this highlighter size fit set to fit perfectly, yeah, in those rings. So, for example, if I was doing a larger circle, all I have to do is kind of just roughly roughly trace it and this is going to snap to a perfect circle. So, it's kind of cool. It helps me kind of color everything in on the mood mandala. All right. So, I've got my mood for yesterday. Definitely excited. I'm all set up for today. I've shown you my monthly appointments, all that jazz, and I think that's going to do it for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, let me know. I am going to be filming some other mini tutorials for the rest of today and then working on some digital stickers, uh, but I will be in our uh, Boho Berry Digital Planners Facebook group as much as possible today trying to answer questions there. So if you haven't joined yet, I'll have that link in the description below. And yeah, I hope you have a great and excellent rest of your Wednesday and I will see you tomorrow. Bye y'all.